Hey team, it's day 13. Hope you guys had a great day. Uh, just wanting to get into our six daily goals. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about uh, something that one of my uh, insight partners, my group cohorts told me the other day. And, and she said, I really don't like counting calories. It's kind of a turnoff. And I could laughed at that a little bit. Um, but just for her, just for you, Priscilla, I'm going to go through a couple of different other programs that are out there where, you know, technically you're not calorie counting. Uh, you, so there's a couple different things we'll go over tonight. But uh, before we get started, uh, I just wanted to, to make that comment and also say, um, I, I guess I'm standing in front of it, but this I left up just to show you guys uh, a little personal side. Uh, that's my 17 year old daughter. And, um, it's the reason that we do what we do every day. Uh, I have three kids. I have a 20 year old, a 19 year old now. He turned 19 a couple of days ago and, and a 17 year old daughter. And um, dude, she pulls at my heartstrings and she knows it. And this is the, this is the way she does it. Um, but you know, when you got your three kids with you and you just have such a good time, but you know you're shooting for you know, something so much better than you know, trading your time for money. And I think that's why we're all doing this. So anyway, just wanted to share that a little bit uh, and we'll get into it, I'll race it in a second here, but um, before we get started. So anyway, uh, I have to use red today, which isn't very fun, but in the same sense, I wanna be accountable to you guys. So it's day 13. Um, as far as the daily goals, when I weighed in, I was 227 again today, which is good. Uh, you know, I think I figured out what I'm doing on the carbohydrate mix, so we are good there. 21, 20 calories, 125 ounces of water, barely six hours of sleep. So I was a little dragging today, a little tired. It's, 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 it's tough to get uh, worked up, to, you know, to go get your workout in. Uh, even, even if it's walking, it's cold outside. Uh, so all in all, you know, it's, it's tough to, to roll through the day when you don't get your sleep. So not only does sleep help with your hormones and your weight loss and even hunger, you know, it's also one of those motivational things. It also helps keep you with your energy during the day and just keeps you alert and ready to go. So really, really clears that mind. 33 minutes of working out, barely got enough last night, but I, this is where I made the decision to go get in cardio instead of my sleep. So I traded that for that. Don't usually do it, but I had a little heavier carb load yesterday, so I just, I just wanted to get in a walk and I actually had some good uh, educational stuff I wanted to watch. And then 214 grams of protein. Oh, I don't like erasing this, but I'm going to. I took a picture of it, so I'll save that. But anyway, just so it doesn't detract from what we're gonna be talking about now. So do we have to count calories? No, you don't. Um, actually, there's, there's a lot of what I call quote unquote alternatives to calorie count. So Priscilla, listen up. Um, we do have a red, yellow, green. I'm sure a lot of you have come in contact with that particular uh, program. It's actually really good. I've, I've heard a lot of people have success on that. And you know, that's awesome. Uh, if you identify certain foods in certain quote unquote categories uh, and you get to add up those, you know, that's, that's really neat. Um, that's a good way to start out and become aware of, of what you're eating and, and all that kind of good jazz. Second one is a, a Mediterranean diet, even though that technically isn't a, a diet, it's more of an eating plan, it's more of the way people eat. I would say, you know, the Mediterranean diet's a good one too because it keeps out a lot of that stuff that jacks up uh, your cravings for food and, you know, calories, uh, calorie rich uh, junk food basically. Uh, Prepackaged meals, there are some programs that just say, hey, where do you wanna go? Uh, let's get you some prepackaged meals. And believe it or not, those meals per day are roughly, for men, they average between 1,500 and 1,800 calories, and women right around, I think, that 12 to 1,500. So, did I say the word calories? I don't know. Um, point systems, there's also, you know, we also have point systems with certain programs. And the last one, intermittent fasting. A lot of people think that intermittent fasting, you know, because you're not eating in a certain window, like you can do, you know, your windows can be 12, they can be, you know, 14, you know, however many hours you want, your intermittent fasting, you're supposed to technically get a workout on a, in a fasted state to get the catecholamines rolling, all sorts of good funky stuff for your body, which I love. That's why I like to do fasted cardio a lot when I do cardio, if I want to wake up in the morning, but I've been getting my sleep. 
But just so you know, every one of these, regardless of which one you're doing, has a focus around calories. It is a math game. It's a math game. And I, if you don't like counting calories with a calorie app like Fat Secret or any one of the other ones, um, every one of most of these programs, other than I believe the Mediterranean diet, but most of these programs also come with some sort of app as well. They come with support, they come with coaching, they come with all sorts of great stuff. So it boils down to the fact that are you going to be disciplined? Do you want to be disciplined? If you don't like you know, counting calories in an app, that's fine, that's great. There are tons of other opportunities and, and programs out there for you to help get your, uh, what you eat in check and start to lose weight because in the end, losing weight is a math game. I would still recommend that if you don't wanna count these, you still want to weigh yourself a little more, you know, the normal. You don't have to do it daily, but I would say daily. People that weigh themselves daily on average don't gain as much weight as those that don't. Uh, over time, you, do, you don't do your calories, you're gonna do one of these other things, so you know that'll focus on the caloric intake that your body needs to lose weight. Um, stick with your water, stick with your sleep, get in all these programs are gonna tell you to do activity as well. And then your protein, mm, that might conflict with some of these, but some of them it might be good with. So overall, what I think is, these programs, just like the one that I'm doing right now, if you're following with me, is going to bring accountability. So anyway, um, I did it, Priscilla. I did the program and the uh, video on different things that you can do other than quote unquote calorie counting. There are a lot out there. So, um, and I don't hate on any one of them as long as it is getting all of us to become aware of what we're putting in our mouth, what we're doing with our body to stay in shape and just, what we're all shooting for is the longevity of life so we can leave that legacy for the daughters that leave the notes on the whiteboard for you in the morning and pull at your heartstrings. So hopefully you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for all your support. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Thanks.